Okay, a wonderful man. Yes. You a wonderful man indeed. Yes. I like them people like you. Mm -hmm. You are doing good. How is they can give you one or two nights in this our village? Because you're a wonderful man. They will give me on your day. On your day, my wife. On your day, my Boringo. Aki bala. Boringo. Boringo. Aki bala. Boringo. If you carry me, go feel as right. I don't like to let go. Boringo. I don't like it. If you carry me, go back. Okay, wonderful man. Yes, yes. Iri gu kovenza. Everywhere, just say it. You have top money. All of them. Where did you go? I put here. Bring it, bring it. Okay, now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Barica. Hello, Barica. From Lagos to Jamaica. Hello, Barica. Hello, Barica. From Nigeria to Canada. No, let me give you a nice one for you. Yes. Hello, Barica. Hello, Barica. From Lagos to Tibolan. Yes. Hello, Barica. Hello, Barica. Bless this all for you. Yes. Hello, Barica. This is inspiration. Uh, inspiration now, smoke. I heard that uh, in Felash Ryan, mm. they used to move to Mbu. That one I used to uh, uh, throw a can, can, can you mold it? And if you give me more rest than I will blow, move to Mbu for me. I, because I want to smoke like fella. Okay. No, not fella, like Bob Mali. See, we don't push to break it you like know, Whenever I am smoking, I am seeing Bob Mali. Even Peter Touch will be singing in my presence. I don't see when I am smoking. Uncle Alubarik. 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 No worry. If now, with the more pass people, with the more block. Now, we don't have point now. Yes. Hi. I heard that this one uh, is very, very tough. Can I ask you? No, 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 this one is the authentic. This is Sensemela. 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 Have you taken Sensemela before? Mm. Sensemela. That is the one I. No, 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 don't move, don't light it. Uh. We have to go to the backyard now. Okay. That is where we sit down and see the whole spirit of what you have told you. Uncle. They will come and smoke with us. Alabarica! <laughs> Alabarica! Yes! Uncle Fralego, Santi Bolan! Alabarica! Salas, Don't keep me waiting. I'm not missed you. 
another day. I'll show you. Okay? Alright. Don't leave me waiting. No problem, baby. It has 16 veins mm -hmm. and it is 21 inches in length. <laughs> so when I was using it on her, digging deep <laughs> into her three two smokontus, <laughs> she was shouting. <laughs> you know how to get to Felix, you will kill you. Felix, you will kill you. <laughs> How is the company doing, sir? Yeah, very well. Dad, I'm, I've gone through the fire you sent to me last time. I must confess, you are doing a great job there. Mm -hmm. I am proud of you, my son. Thank you, Dad. Thank Please you. keep doing it. Thank yeah? you, Dad. Thank you. More kudos. Mm. Huh? Dad, I'm blessed for something. And I'm sure it's Felix and his friends are last Smoking marijuana and living useless life is the only thing your brother Felix likes doing. Now look at the company I handed over to him last time. I am sure he is doing absolutely nothing to improve on it. He's not trying to make any effort to grow the company at all. And I'm very sure in time that company will begin to collapse. Huh? It's a promise, I'm telling you. Unless he, he, he changes. I'm sick and tired of Felix's attitude. Why can't Felix sit down and think about his life for once? At his age, he's unmarried. Yet it doesn't bother him. Well, uh, I'm also worried. Eh? But please, keep doing me proud, son. Uh, let, let me see. Yeah, Felix. 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 When are you going to stop this, Felix? You're my other brother. You! Can you respect yourself for once? You! Don't talk to me like that. Hey, shut up. You say that, brother. Be quiet! You don't have the right to interfere in our family affair. What is all this? Hey, you are. I know when Mama gave back to you, you know? Listen, let me tell you. Mind how you talk to me. Because I am your elder brother. If you are my elder brother, why not stop talking this? Then I will stop talking to you anyhow. Felix, what is this? You, hey you. The young man like you. Look at how you're wasting your life with smoking and drinking. The man that is so they not to be your... Let's go. Don't mind that boy. He is just jealous we are enjoying ourselves. Oh, come on, I don't because of you. Yes. You know, that man don't just blow. That man always knew the right thing.
você. My baby with the palatable behind. Yes. <laughs> you really meant my Serious? Yes. And I am really want to have this some other time. Oh, you have no problem with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I trust you. <laughs> okay, I'll call you, eh? Alright. That's good shape what Mama gave you. Yeah? Forty billion naira. As at the time I handed over to you, and now it is so depreciated. Why? So if your manager did not bring those files to me, I wouldn't have known what is happening in there. Look at that. So the manager brought the files here for you. Didn't you see from the files that I'm doing my best? <laughs> you called this and I saw doing your very best. Eh? Now listen to me. Go and take a look at your mother. Look at Matthias, your brother, your younger brother. Eh? See how well he's doing in his company. And you're here consoling yourself with failure. Listen, Dad, his name is Martin. I am Felix. We have different ideologies in life, okay? So don't compare me and him. I am success in the making. I will soon overtake him. Shut up! Why wouldn't I compare both of you? Why wouldn't I compare? He is a successful man. A responsible man. He is married with kids. And you, you don't even think about it. Huh? His business is doing perfectly well. Tell me. You really need to understand the son you have. This is Felix. You should understand me. You should appreciate me. I am doing so many things to make you happy. Listen, the kind of success I am going to record, you have not seen such. And I hope you will stay alive to meet the success. Don't worry, Dad. I see. So you think your being the first son gives you everything I have? Well, let me give you a little bit of this information. Listen and listen, God. Huh? If you continue like this, I refuse to change. <laughs> Felix, you will not inherit anything from me. I repeat, not even a dime. Are you hearing me? Wipe your mouth. Just wipe your lips, Dad. That was a slip of tongue. I know my rights as the first son of this house. You can't deny anything from me. Okay. If you pass on today, I am the general overseer. <laughs> Even if you pass on today, everything belongs to me. I have had you. Let us watch and see. This is incredible, unbelievable. How will the son of the lion feed on grass?
don't tell me that crap, Martin. Are you not aware that my business is collapsing and your own is still standing? I don't have any money to give to you. How many times will I give you money? Listen, Felix. If you mismanage your phones this time, don't come back to me for money. Martin! Am I the one you are talking to like that? Martin! Look at this little boy of yesterday. Eh? Do you think you have a life? What is happening here? What's happening here? Look at one Felix. Every time money, 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 money. How many times have I given him money? My company does not have money to give him this time. Felix, you should be ashamed of yourself. Papi, you have me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Papi, you said I should be ashamed of myself. Exactly. Let nobody blame me. If anything goes wrong, get out of No more sense. Don't try it next time. Don't just watch it. Just do. Felix, listen, let me tell you. Don't tell me that nonsense. If he if, 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 if said it, fly him to the hospital. Why is he not taking him to the hospital? Oh my God. Felix, come, come, come now. Please. Papi. What's wrong with you, Papi? Papi! Thank God the murderer has come and gone successfully. Uh, before the death of my brother, Colin, your father, there has been peace in this family. And I urge two of you to try and maintain that peace. Um, you see, Felix, you are the first son. You know that. And that means you have greater responsibilities in this family. And you, Martins, you are younger. At least two of you should try and do the best you can to keep the peace. At least maintain the family the way your father has left it. Uncle, I've had more to say. It. I'm ready to do my best. Only if this boy here will give me the respect that I deserve. You are the one who should respect yourself. See, you had better change your ways in this family, else this family will not contain us. I can't sit down and watch you destroy what our father has worked for so many years to begin. You see what I just told you? How am I going to discharge my duties as the first son when he cannot? Even respect me. He doesn't have a single respect for me. Anyway, the lawyer is coming to Two of you should calm down. And I won't see you doing and he tell you also. This is not the right time for all this. Tell him. No, no, listen. See, 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 the best thing is to come together and let there be peace, like I said earlier. And you, Martin, you must acknowledge the fact that he is your snowball. Felix here is your snowball. Tell him. Is it because I am not yet married? Huh? Talk to him! Oh, why are you not married? Why are you not married? Are you not old enough to get married? I feel like 40 is a good forever. I can't sit here anymore to talk about this. Ah, this is a good spot. You should not do this. What are you? Shut up the mic and let him go. Martin! You don't even have I am here in my presence. Why shall you talk to your senior? I'm sorry. What's all this? I don't know who was on there. Um, Sarah, can you sure your brother is going to change? Because I don't see the progress of this family if he doesn't change. Um, honey, that's not my concern. My ultimate priority is to ensure that the legacy of father left behind is secured. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. That reminds me. I hope the lawyer is still coming tomorrow to read the will. Um, definitely. Yeah. Because that will settle the whole thing. By the time you have his own share, you will have your own. I believe what this problem will come to an end. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sir? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Let's hope. I'm afraid of this game. I need yeah. to rest. Yeah. I'll be in my room. Is there a person with this, okay? Yeah. We all know why we are here. There is no need to waste time. That is possible. This will was written by late Chief Collins, is it the move? 
on the 26th day of March 2016. I read, My fourth son inherits my house, which both of us were occupying before my death. And also, the company that I left under his care. I willed my four-story building located at number 15 Alecon Street to my grandson, Junior, and my shopping blazer at Jacob Street goes to my beautiful granddaughter, Jasmine. Well, this will was tampered. I cannot take this. Something must be done on this. No! What do you mean? My father can my dead father cannot write this. It's not possible. Felix, can you allow us to listen to you? Eh? Allow us. Barrister, please go ahead. Matthias, my son, really impressed me. He proved to me that I won't have any regret in trusting my assets to him. Based on that, I bequeath my new and the most expensive of all my companies, which I keep a secret to him. It is located at number two, Ajidu Layout. You should collect the papers from my lord. Listen, this can never happen. Uncle, Papi cannot say this and I am not going to take it. Never. It will never happen. I won't take it. Lawyer, do you know what you did? You must have planned with him. I am not going to take this. Felix, not at all. Listen, Felix. Can you allow us to listen to him? Eh? Allow us? Ah, listen to what nonsense. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Um, uh, Barrister, please continue. Thank you. My house is occupying now, and the company is managing presently. Belongs to him as well. I will my ten plot of land at the back of the government house to my beloved brother, Chief Wilson. Twenty percent of the three hundred and fifty million in my account goes to my first son, Felix. Fifty percent goes to Martins. 10% goes to my brother, Wilson. 10% to be fixed for my grandson. And 5% to be fixed for my granddaughter. They can only withdraw it when they are 22 years respectively. And the remaining five percent goes to my daughter-in-law, Joe. This is the end of late Chief Collins' Elizabeth's will. Thank you, Barrister. Thank you very much for all this. This is not possible. This is not possible. This is not possible. Father, do this to you. You see, uh, that is the problem. See, you see why I like you, and because of that, your name is uh, yeah. That man for Ethiopia, where did they call eh, Salas? Yeah. You know, the fear. Ganja man, no, they slack at all. Let me tell you. I will fight for what belongs to me. Well, listen, I need your support. 
Not suppose now you small man to talk like this. I back support flowing for back. Anytime a woman can do for your culture, let me today now, let me today, don't they see how we are overload for back. We don't they see some day day for back. That one a small thing, now. If I don't do it for you, I will do it for now. Calm down, that one a small thing. We have a dick. A single tuba of yam that takes them men to a flow from a tip. They think they can bring me down. So I am now the owner of the shopping plaza. I really cannot be. I'm so, 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 so happy. I'll make Brandon the proud wherever he is. I'm so happy too. Mm. I don't know Grandpa loved us so much. I'll make him proud. Mm. But that's me. Mm. I feel it. I noticed that I'm going to so now. I'm going to buy a Lego to us to get to you. You know, I'll explain it more to you. Okay? Um, come inside, let me show you something. Thank you, Dad. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know that you conspired with Papi to take what belongs to me? You cannot succeed. Martin, I said you cannot succeed and I'm going to show you. I will show you that I'm, I'm still the first son of this house. Felix, I didn't do anything. Papa wrote to wear himself. Stop blaming me for anything. I don't like this. You want me to believe that crap? Martin, let me tell you. You will not succeed. I will bounce back. You can't take what belongs to me, never. Don't think you will succeed. Don't even think it. This thing is wrong for me. It's hard time you do something about it. I don't trust you, brother. Forget, I know what I'm saying. I don't trust you. Salas, 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 I am I am ready to do something before I lose everything. I don't think there is anything we can do about it. The real has already been written, so we should accept it. Salas, wipe your lips. Are you the one that's just said that? I thought you said you're going to stand by me at all costs. Uh, but nothing has changed. Now that I've been expecting from you, but I think there's nothing you can do about it. Salasa, I am going to possess my possessions. I will do that. And I am ready to take life or lives. If the case must be, I will do it. Uh -huh. Now you are talking. I want to know your mind first. So how do you go about it? I will continue to threaten him. If he fails to give in to my threats, we will hey. strike. Uh -huh. Selassia! Hey. 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 Thank you. Hey, don't you think you have to talk to your uncle, William, about this one thing? Your brother has started threatening you and he's not for me. Yet you're keeping quiet about it. My lord, I know my brother very well. He cannot go beyond his pictures. Mm -hmm. I know why I'm saying this. I understand I've told you. I know him very well. He's my brother. Despite all his threats, he doesn't have the mind to kill. Okay. Okay. If you say so. But I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. No, I know. I don't want it to you. <laughs> 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 Master, this is the second time I'm coming over to your house for this same issue. Are you ready to give me what belongs to me as the first son or not? Felix, I've told you times without number. Stop disturbing me. 
What is it? I am here to collect the papers to the new companies. Give it to me. What? You had me well. You give me the papers to the new company and there will be peace. Felix, I cannot give you my right. You can do anything, you can do your worst. Let me tell you, over my dead body will I give you that. You want me to do my worst. Do your worst. You said I should go ahead to do my worst. Watch me do it. Honey, mm -hmm. can you imagine that Felix asked me to give him the new company documents? What? But he was there when the lawyer read the will. Is it anything Felix wants this time? I will give it to him in one time. You have to tell your uncle Williams about this. At least let him be away. Honey, I, I just leave the matter for me. I will handle it myself. Let's leave Uncle Williams out of this. Okay? I just hope you know what you're doing. Don't worry. Okay? Next time I will see you. Junior, what do you think about the whole thing that is happening? Because I don't like the way Daddy and Uncle Felix are always calling. Eh? No, we are. We can't talk to them. Talk to them? Talking to them is not the solution. Eh? So, what do you suggest? My dear. The only thing I suggest right now is prayers. You like prayers? What do you mean I like prayers? Go away, Joe. Don't you know prayer is the key? Eh? Okay. There's power in praying. If you say so, but mm. no fasting. No fasting. No fasting. We must fast. <laughs> See your mouth. We must fast. Mm. Let me see. What is this? Oh. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. Are you guys not busy? Yes. Mm. Why are you looking sad? You don't look happy. My baby, how do you expect me to be happy when all these things are happening? It's too much for me. Mm. So stop worrying yourself. I think the only thing to do is prayers. Mm. My sweetheart, go ahead and do the test. That's why you're standing like this. <laughs> what is it? Your uncle Felix is asking your dad for the government of the new company. What? My ah. uncle is greedy. I hate him. It's okay, if you know. No, only I think we should just pray. And to give out into this problem is prayers. Okay? Let us pray, honey. Let mm -hmm. us pray. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. My Father, my God, I commit all this that is happening unto your care. Lord Jesus, I pray that you arrest Uncle Felix in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. It is well. Who got you? Look at you. Mm -hmm. Move your dress, okay? Mm -hmm. And one little food. He's already served me. Stop He's looking saying. sad, okay? I feel it. Okay. Excuse me, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm the new gate man now. I'm your uncle's friend. And where is Musa? No, Musa is now I'm the one in charge. Where is our uh, mother? At? Oh, yes. She's inside. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Junior.
What is it? Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mommy, yes. I had a very terrible dream. What was the dream all about? It's a bad dream. What happened? You were shocked. God forbid. Blood of Jesus. By who? I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I really can't place the face. I don't know. I hope you prayed about it. Of course I did. Anyway, it's just a man. I'm Junior. Don't go close to the gates, babe. In fact, till tomorrow. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Good. Thank God today is uh, Saturday. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, is that all you can say? Your daughter has a very terrible dream, and this is all you can say. Oh, no, Junior is still alive. There's nothing wrong, okay? Dad, when you see, I just think we should just take this dream very seriously. In this going to prayers. Junior, I hope you heard your dad. If anything should happen to you, don't say we didn't want you. In fact, don't cross this gate today. Okay? Don't tell me you're going to buy ice cream or anything. Anything you need, just tell me. I'll get it for you. Okay? <sighs> Hello, Barrister. Uh, good morning. Uh, hello, Barrister. Good day. Please, are you at the office? Because I'm coming right now. Yes, I'm on my way. Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. Uh, okay, better, better. I'll be attacking you. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Barrister, please, I want you to help me secure all the company papers. I hope you'll speak more. It's about, about my brother. He can do anything stupid at any time. So please, I beg of you. It's all right. Uh, I'll make sure all the papers are seen. Thank you very much. Um, so... I don't know how to do it. Could you believe that my younger brother Martin challenged me and asked me to do my worst? What? Martin did what? I told Martin to release those papers. He vowed never to release them to me. And even challenged me to do my worst. Me! So what do you want to do now? Leave that to me. My problem now is that I am broke. Selassie, I am very broke. Well, you told me that your father gave you 20% of the money in his account. That is why I am angry. Have you seen where such is being done? Can you imagine my own very father giving my younger brother 50% and me the first son 20%? Where is it done? And the painful aspect of it is that there is a process I must have to undergo before even that 20% is being given to me. Now my company has collapsed. How am I going to survive? You have to do anything that you have to do first before that your so-called uh, brother will collect what belongs to you. You have to do anything first to you. Selassie! Hey, hey. Selassie! Yeah. Selassie! Yeah. Monkey the fear jump from three. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let like you see and collect those kind of things. I'm gonna really like her too. Watch me and see what I'm going to do. Okay, let's go. Mommy, should I allow you to drop in myself? No, uh, let me drop in. There's no big deal there. Alright? I don't want to right. distress yourself. Just go to one place. It's alright, if you insist. And Jim, you guys should concentrate in school, okay? And you.
very fast. Eh? That's the house. See that black gate? Not the first one. The second one. That one that has that black eh? gate. That's the house. This is the time he brings his children back from school. So just at the gate there. Eh? I, I, I hope you are with it. Eh? Listen, my brother knows you. Said I said, you will not go. Eh? You, you, you will go. Eh? You are with the metal, eh? Now with the metal, okay. Class, yeah. Be fast, be fast. Come down, come on, come on, come on. Be fast.
the Arab world, the Arab world in Ghana. It has happened already. So what we should be talking about now is how to give them a befitting burial. Can you put your food in bags? It's okay. Nani. Nobody should blame anybody for anything. Do you understand? I don't say anything about the death of my husband. I don't say anything about the cause of the reason. I don't say anything about the death of my husband. Do you think you can deceive me with those good ideas? You cannot deceive me because I know you killed my brother. And then you just. Hey, you can't deceive me. Hey, fucking. Hey, fucking. Hey, fucking. Hey, fucking. Are you sure of what you are saying? I'm not going to make you. Oh, no. I can't help you. I hope your hand is not in my brother's death. As for you, this is a woman. Please, I have to. We need to treat her. She cannot give my brother's death. Enough! I will never offer my body to you. You are a very wicked man. Oh, please leave me alone. Relax. Relax. Let me just finish up now. If you allow this thing to be like this, you do what to do. You just tighten up. Allow me to be complicating it. If you think you can use that to satisfy me, why don't you use it and make your own shoe? That is what I'm saying. We are in the same plane. My brother stopped somewhere, let me continue. I will use it. We will produce and produce. I would rather give you a bad man, a mad man. Give me a look. Out! Out! Get out of my house. To be my soul. Look at him. You are a cow. Look at this idea. Hey! Martins. 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 Uncle. Please, I invited you. To let you know that Felix has been disturbing me. I want you to talk to him. Tell him I'm not available. And I will never give my body to him over my dead body. Felix, boy. Yes, Uncle. Hey! But you've made a mistake. He would have told me this all this while. He can't go Uncle, I don't think he will stop. Chenoya, this one. Yeah, Felix, I'm mad. Okay, I'll. There is no problem. You've told me, and I promise you I will handle it. Okay. So who does that man have? I will never allow such. Come on, man. Oh? Okay. Uh, I will talk to him about it. How about my daughter? She has gone to school. Okay. Would you go? Yes, I'm It's okay. It's the one. Um, it is saying that one with God is the majority. For this man, I'm saying, I am with you. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything, don't that's not wrong. Thank you very much. And I really appreciate everything you've been doing for us since I lost my husband. The God will bless you. Why am I in this position? Uh -huh. It's for God now. Uncle, wait, let me get you something to eat. But I, I, I am fear. Uncle, please, uh, this one will like it. Eh? He's all has to eat. It's all for Uncle. Hey, Uncle, wait. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Hey, Don't worry, okay? Uncle Felix will not succeed in his plans. Don't, don't worry. Thank you very much for standing by me on this I will always stand by your side. Okay? I love you too. It's okay. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dawa watu wodi. Dawa watu wodi your love. To receive 
your brother's wife. Why, Felix? If you want a wife, go and get one for yourself. Do you know what understand? And leave that poor with a loan. Felix, what your uncle has just said is correct. Leave that woman alone so that she can take care of her daughter. Please, leave her alone. She came and complained to both of you. Yes, she did. Okay, let me ask her. What is wrong if I have decided to marry her? I mean, she should be happy. She should count herself lucky that Felix decided to take her in as a wife. She's a fairly used woman. She's a second hand. If she's going, to, if she's a vehicle, we call it Tokumbo cart, fairly used cart. So she should be happy that I decided to marry her instead. Yeah? I'm helping her. You asking if there is anything wrong with Maria? A lot of things are wrong with Maria. Many things. Do you understand, Felix? Now listen, like I told you earlier, if you want a wife, go and get a girl. Two of us will be behind you. Do you understand? Not you to marry John. I have to Let's go. Hey, Felix. Look at the woman I was trying to help so that she would not die of cold. And you believe that she went to report me to my uncle? Why are you still wasting time with that woman? Why are you still playing with that woman? Reba, why is she? Please leave me alone. You want to marry me? Leave me. Girls hear my scream last night. Um, I heard you scream, Jesus, but I thought you were praying. I wasn't praying. What happened? Bad dream? Yes. And I woke up with another nightmare. Can you tell us what really happened? There is something I need to tell you girls about your uncle. He has been disturbing me. He has been asking me for sex. I tried to keep it away from you girls, but he refused to stop. But mom, why would you want to keep such a thing away from us? Where is he now? In your room? Yes, he even tried to rape me last night. Since when did this start? Hmm. The same week your father died. Margaret, now that the burial is over, we all must try to move on. I know we all are going through pains, but we should try to put the past behind us. Your late husband was my only brother. Ah! Mm. And I know he was a loving husband to you and a loving father to these two girls. Your daughters. Margaret, I owe your late husband the responsibility to take care of all of you. And that I promise you all I must do. Hmm? Yeah. I thank you very much. I really appreciate all your efforts. Mm. You don't need to say all that. Hmm? This family is my family too. Huh? All I ask of you is to take care of your daughters. 
now that I am about to leave. Huh? Oh. Guru Foss, please, we know you really tried for us. And you need to go back home. But my daughters and I, we are not physically and mentally strong enough to stay in this house without any man. Please, sir. <laughs> we will appreciate if you can spend one or two more weeks. Please. <laughs> hmm. you one thing. I will be here tomorrow morning. waiting for me to break down this door before you come and open it. Uncle, we are sorry. And uh, where is your mother? I mean, she went to church. So, both of you are alone in the house? Yes, Uncle. So, how are you girls? We are fine. Ah. Take these bags into the room. the head of the family sits. Now bring it here. Why would you sit there and eat? Don't you know that that's my husband's chair? I am now in place of my late brother, your husband. And I should be treated the same way he was treated when he was alive. So bring the food now. We are the head of the family sits to eat. Bring it. Good. Water. Eh? I am the owner. Are you the one that told these girls to keep my bags in the guest room? But you've always stayed in the guest room each time you are here. Margaret! Ah. Margaret, is that so? Is that so? Can't we have no moment of peace in this house? Okay. Left me all alone at the 
What do you expect from me when both of us are supposed to be in this room? I don't understand what you're trying to say. What I am trying to tell you is that this room is supposed to be for both of us. Both of us are supposed to be sleeping on this bed, Margaret. <laughs> Why will you sleep on the same bed with me? Are you my husband? Hey, now let me tell you. Listen, your husband is late. I am his living, only living brother. His blood runs in my own veins. So both of us are supposed to be on this bed. I should take his own place. See, what I'm telling you is that... Excuse me! I can't believe you want to have sex with me. Me? I, I don't want to have sex with you, Margaret. I want us to make love. Leave me alone. Get out of my room this minute. Hold on. Leave my room this minute. Get out. Now. Make sure you concentrate in class, okay? Okay, mommy. Look at her. She's saying okay, mommy. Please, uh, before you start your argument, go ahead. Mom, you need to warn this your mess. You. She plays around every single time. Warn her. She doesn't concentrate at all. Look, 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 look at that. Please, uh, before you start I'm your going to beat her. You're running late. I'll beat her very well. Please, me. I'll beat her. Bye. No way. Why is this so difficult for you to do what you're supposed to do? In the room, eh? Let's go inside. Please, let go of me. Let go of me. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry now, sorry. I'm sorry. What's happening? She's feeling dizzy and weak. Just help her to the room. Help her. That's what I've been going through. Mommy. Mommy, this nonsense has to stop today. Is he mad? I don't understand. Ah. Ah. Please, so. Oh. I want us to handle this maturity. Exactly. I don't want anything to happen to you two. Please. You are all I have. Take things easy, please. Exactly. We are going to handle it. Very, very matured. Merci. Let's go. Antelope. Rabbit. What is it? Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Also, Uncle Tizag, you intend to take care of your late brother's family by sleeping with his own wife. Hi. I am so so disappointed at you. Rabbit, Antelope, I can see both of you have overfed yourselves. Eh? Uncle, are you denying it? Uncle, am I? Denying what? That you have been sexually harassing your late brother's wife. <sighs> Rabbit, Antelope, both of you are stupid. Both of you are very, very stupid. In fact, the highest level of stupidity, that is what is disturbing both of you. Now, get out of my sight before I do something nasty. Get out now before I show you how unfair the fire is to the ear of a rat. Get out. Uncle, no problem. But I want you to understand one thing, that we are watching you. Let's go. Rabbit and Natalie. Okay. Eh? 
by the way, what is Margaret? Why is Margaret holding this thing from me? Something my late brother paid heavily for. And because of his untimely death, he could not finish what he started. Now tell me, is it a crime for me to start from where my brother stopped? Continuity in the family. Yes, that is what I'm doing. Um, brother, I will not disappoint you. Yes, I will continue from where you stopped. Nonsense, girls. Idiots. Go, go. Girls are stupid. I hope you girls didn't do anything stupid out there. No, Mom. We only went to tell our uncle that we are aware of all the nonsense he has been doing. Margaret. Margaret. So you are the one that sent these two stupid girls to come and insult me. This antelope and rabbit. You sent them to come and insult me. Margaret, so it has gotten to the level of two small girls coming to insult and shout at me, eh, Margaret? Uncle, nobody insulted you. Nobody even insulted you at all. We just came to tell you that you should stay away from our mother or else. May thunder design that your mouth, Antelope. May thunder design that mouth. Nonsense. Now, let me make it clear to all of you. Let me tell all of you here now. Where my brother stopped, I am going to start. I said it. I am going to take care of all of you, including your mother. From now henceforth, your mother must do her bedroom duties. She must perform those duties to me. If she fails to do that, you will not like what I will do. You will not like what I will do. <laughs> Listen, let, me, let me tell you. You must open these legs. You must open them. Come back here. Amy, come back here. Listen to me now. I don't want to quarrel over this. I mean well. And I want you to know that. Go to the guest room. Keep my bags there and take them to your mother's bedroom now. But why, uncle? Are you asking me why? I don't want to entertain any question from you. Just do as I have instructed. Period. Uncle, I want to know why you said I should take your things to my mother's bedroom. You want to know why? You want to know why? Now listen, from now on, I will be staying in that room. Is that understood? Now take those bags into that room. Mimi, come back here. What?
Hey, Uncle, that's your food. Meaning what? How many times have I told you to place my food where the head of the family sits? Eh? Oh, yeah. Come and transfer it now. You are still with me. Torment me in my own house. What kind of trouble is this? Torment you. I am not tormenting you. It's just that you have refused to understand that this bed belongs to both of us. Eh? This room is for both of us. So come to bed. Leave me alone. You are a stupid man. I went to my room to sleep, eh? Only to see your uncle sleeping on my bed. What? What is the meaning of that? That man is looking for more trouble than his age cannot carry. Is he still there? Yes, and he's not looking as if he's going anywhere. Mm. Don't worry. He's leaving your room this minute. Listen, listen. I don't want you just to go there. I don't want him to hurt any of you for me. Or... Mommy, just stay here. Right? Please, Mimi, wait. I want you to leave this room this minute. Rabbit, Antelope, I can see both of you have gone mad. Now leave this room this minute. Leave this room. See, Uncle, we are not here to joke with you at all. Just carry your dead body and leave this room in peace or we force you out. Eh? Antelope, you are calling me a dead body. Okay. Let me just pretend that I didn't hear you. And let me pretend that both of you are not acting this way, this minute. Leave this room. Get out from this talking. room. You are still talking. Pull him out. I said you pull him out. going with them. No problem. Go. But after you will realize that this bed is for both of us, you must come to this bed and open and I will enter. I must penetrate. Take it on you. This bed. Okay. for me oh you are disturbing me eh please you are disturbing me i'm still sleeping ah open the door now don't you want me to go out again i said you are disturbing me eh can't you understand that somebody is sleeping yesterday i asked you to sleep here you refused 
and you went out with your children. Now you are here disturbing me. Leave me, please. Rufus. Rufus, this thing you're doing is not fair. Eh? Why are you turning me into a prisoner in my own house? God is watching you, Rufus. God is watching you. My dear Becky, I sent for you. There's a serious problem in my house. A serious problem in your house? Yes. What is it? My late husband's younger brother. What about him? He wants to sleep with me. Jesus Christ. Not just that. The old man wants to completely own me. Jesus. But I refused. And since then, he has sworn to make life unbearable for me and my daughters. Jesus. Margaret, this is serious, so. So, what are your plans? Seriously, I don't know. Eh? I was actually the one that asked for this problem. Eh? Because he wanted to go after the barrier. But I pleaded to him to spend little time with us. I never knew he has another plan. Sweetheart, you did not do wrong by asking your husband's younger brother to stay behind. You actually thought he meant well for you. But it's okay. Um, so what are we going to do about it? I don't really know. Okay, I think I have an idea. Uh, Look, you have to go and speak with some elders to see if they can caution him. I, I mean, your husband just died. It's not barely how many months the, the, the younger brother wants to take over you. It's not making sense. Uh, you think he will listen to them? Why won't he listen to them? Is he above the law? Okay, I will, I will do exactly that. First thing tomorrow morning. Your husband does that. Your husband wants to go home. Nobody will actually try that with me because I'm a liar. So, um, let's see. Is your uncle still around? Hmm. That one is not even talking about going anywhere. Uh, that is serious. I don't understand. Eh? Some men are very stupid. They will just like to belittle themselves to stupidity. Well, I think uh, men in general are just stupid. Sorry to say that. <laughs> Since that man slapped me, I have decided not to disturb him again. He can stay there for ages. That's business. Well, next time he touches any of you, you will know that you girls have guys like us that will fight for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he doesn't even know. <laughs> Meanwhile, I would want to follow you to your house. I don't want to see that man's annoying place. That is a good idea. Okay, we can just go home together. Oh no, me, uh, Messi has to go home. Eh? Go home and boil um, that yam. That cook yam. Go, 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 go. go. Alright. Boil the yam, I'm coming. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Hey, in my now, the matter is what we have to do. Let's from. Margaret, you're welcome. Hi, you're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you, Mama. How are you and the children? Nah, we are fine. At least we bless God for life. Mm -hmm. How are your family? Oh, we thank God. We thank God. Uh, so you want to see us? I hope all is well. Yes, Mama. Because uh, we, you have not asked after us or even come to see us since after the burial. No, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, go ahead, go ahead, we're listening. No, you both are aware that my husband's brother, Rufus, has been in my house. Yes. To assist my children and I. Uh -huh. But after my husband's burial, he started behaving somehow. How has he been behaving? He has been disturbing me, forcing me to sleep with him. Huh? In fact, as I talk to you now, Rufus has moved all his things to my room. Hey! Now I am confused. That's why she let me come to you before and seek for help. I don't know where to go from here. Hey! What is wrong with Rufus? Is he out of his senses? Uh, <clears throat> Uh, where is Rufus now? 
you should be at home. You don't even go out. I think uh, we should uh, go with her so that we can hear yes. the side of the story. Uh, thank you. I told you. I told you about me. Um, Rufus, Margaret came to us complaining that you have been harassing her sexually. Uh, what do you have to say to that? My kinsmen, I welcome both of you once again. Margaret, sitting down there, is my late brother's wife. Yes. Traditionally, it is my right to inherit her. And that is the problem I am having in this house. Her two daughters fails to understand that fact. Everything in this compound belongs to me. Yeah, Rufus. Yes! I thought it wasn't true. Eh? Why must you be on your late brother's wife? Disturbing her. When at your age, you should have gotten married and have grown up children by now. But you disagreed. Why? Mike, eh? we are addressing an issue. But you have just deviated to something else. Let me ask you. What if this is how God wants it, hey, hey, Mike? Hey, hey. Don't bring God into this matter. Never. It's okay. It's okay, Mike. Eh? Uh, Rufus, it's okay. Uh, we are here to discuss an important issue. No, no, but, uh, but, 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 he, he said he, he's, he's talking nonsense. I will not take that from you, Mike. I will not allow you to come into my late brother's house to insult me. But I will not take it. It's okay. It's okay, Rufus. It's okay. Um, you should control your temper. Uh, Margaret, it's like um, with what you came to report about uh, Rufus is true. Uh, the question now is uh, whether you would like to accept him as a husband traditionally. Nay, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Hey! Alfred! Is it not obvious? Margaret! So, it is Mike that has been consummating this thing. Hey! Alfred, is it not obvious? Is it not obvious that Margaret has been sleeping with Mike? Eh? So, I thought you have got you on your waist. Now you have proven that somebody has been mounting on this your backside. Are you crazy? Are you mad? It's like we we'll come back again and look at what we do and find a last solution to this problem. Please, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Alfred, let's go, let's go. Uh, Rufus, it's okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's uh, Rufus, let's go. you. Let's go. Now I see. So, I am in this house and rat from outside is coming into my own territory to eat my fish. How can you prove that? Is, are you not a human being? Alfred. I don't understand what you just did. I don't understand you at all. What don't you understand then? Eh? Why, why did you keep the batter pending? Is it not you to ask Rufus to pack his things out of this house? Eh? Sometimes you reason like a baby. Uh, are you going to support the man or the woman? Don't you know that if you support the man, it will be well with you because if the man inherits her, he will also inherit her property and wealth. Eh? And some of the material things will flow back to you. So, Alfred, you connive with Rufus to read them off what they have. Eh? God have mercy on you. God have mercy on you. I can never be part of it. God forbid. So, you want to remain poor all your life? Eh? That's your business. Nonsense. No, no. I think the elders are afraid of him. Obviously. I can't understand anything. I expected more from them. Oh, you are still expecting? <laughs> Margaret, Maggie, your plans have failed. Go, do, go, go, in toto. Let me ask you, Maggie. Between me and Mike, which of us? He's more handsome. Hmm? Why are you running away from me? 
bring this thing to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle, tell me, why do you want to repair it in your I just told you there. You are getting confused. How do you mean, where I did not sue? Eh? Whatever that belongs to your late father, my own late brother belongs to me because both of us are from the same parents, period. Eh? Now, let me teach you what you don't know. Do you have a junior brother? The answer is no. Eh? I want your mother. That is the only thing I want. I don't need your father's money if you are thinking I am interested in that. No. I only want continuity of my family lineage. Please leave us alone. Let me continue from where my late brother stopped so that my family lineage will continue. We need to have a name. Just that is what I'm saying. Us. We are only talking about continuity. Continuously, where my brother stopped. So how are you? I'm fine. You look opposite of it to me. I said I'm fine. I'm okay. Can't you just stop lying to me? Is he your uncle again? My mom reported to some elders about him, but they came and did not do anything. What do you mean they didn't do anything? I don't know. One looked upset with him, while the other was just calm about everything. And at the end of the day, they left saying they needed some time to sort the issue. Hmm. Maybe your uncle have bribed this man. But don't worry, baby. I'll come up with something. Show. Sure. They called you to come and intervene, not knowing that you are my personal oh. person. Give man car. Give man Don't mind them. No force. Don't mind them. Stay where you are. Ah, after all, she does not have a son. I am not going anywhere. No leave, no transfer. What she fails to understand is that I am helping her. She doesn't have a son. And I want her to have a son so that she will have rights in the family. No, I'm not interested in the one at all. I'm not interested about that. You know me. I, I trust you. I'm not interested in the money. I trust my, you. My interest is uh, <laughs> the back side. <laughs> I just want to enter there. Remain there permanent. Mm. My car park. Oh. My bedroom. My market. In fact, I don't want to go and come out. I want to remain permanently there. All of us. <laughs> I trust you. Yeah. Um, while you are entering our back side, uh -huh. I also want to enter Mimi eh? and my daughter. No, she's a circle like that. I'll bring my mom. And Juicy. Hey! No, she's a circle That and is and it. In a fuzzle. But you know, when you want to catch a fowl, you should know how to drop the call. Oh. So that when the fowl is picking the call, it will be coming directly to you. Oh. So you should devise a means of. <laughs> If I laugh, don't, don't you trust me? I trust uh, you. I know I, what to do. I know what they are capable of doing. Uh, look on. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll friend my man. My personal person. Oh. Hi. Can you imagine? I must enter that back side. What is your matter? I must enter there. Oh, my friend. Since you came back now, I was expected to hear from you, no way, not even a, call, a phone call. So I've decided to come over and know how your traveling went with the elders. My dear, you've seen your friend now. The meeting didn't go well at all. The elders behaved as if they were bright. The fear, mm -hmm. don't say that. I mean, <laughs> how did it happen? My dear, I went to the village and explained to them. Mm -hmm. And they followed me to this place. They asked Rufus. He said exactly the same thing. In fact, he told them that is his right to inherit me. <laughs> eh? And I was expecting the elders to tell him to pack his things out of my house and leave us alone. 
You know what happened? One of the elders said that um, this uh, case is a very sensitive one. <laughs> that they need time to sort it out. And they left. Jesus Christ. Just like that. I see. <laughs> I don't really get it. It is right to inherit, to inherit me now. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait. Do you want to marry him? Marry who? That he got. God forbid. I can't marry that cow. Ha. Huh. Jesus. Uh -uh. See, okay, since it's not working out that way, okay? What you need to do is to go legally. Yes. Call your lawyer. Let him come and I think they cannot do. Call them. Let them treat it legally so that it, as everything will normalize. Special advisor. Personal advisor. Or should I even call you attorney general? Listen, let me tell you. Stop coming to this very compound. It is true. For a bird to be dancing on the road, it means that someone is in the bush playing the rhythm. Let me tell you something. For someone to solve another person's problem, that person should first of all solve his or her own personal problem first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to me like that. I'm somebody's wife. Ah, what is it now? Please, I beg. I don't have time for people like you. I said what I want to say. Oh, okay. You know you are somebody's wife. Is this your compound? Don't you know where your husband's compound is? Because I promoted you to Attorney General. You are nothing but a charge and bail lawyer. I've told you, stop coming to this very compound. Nonsense. Hmm. Hey. We don't have any right to stop you from coming to my house. This is still my house. I beg your So this is where you always go to? This one is small. I'm oh, so going. Attorney General. You have to call your lawyer. Oh. You know, I thought you've abandoned me. For where? <laughs> No, no, he wants to do. <laughs> he wants it by force. He's a cow. That he wants to sleep with. I imagine you don't mind that. that old, old, old cow. My girl, the last time I was with her, she was complaining bitterly about the way the uncle has been maltreating them. I feel for her. Are you serious? Yes, now. So, what do you want to do about that? I think we should threaten that their uncle. You want us to threaten the man? Mm -hmm. that, will that work? Suppose work. Yes. Oh. In that case, I am. What format? How do you want us to go about that? You got that, man. <laughs> Respect. That's man. what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Man. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Let's, 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 let's. Where is that police force? You guys, where are you? Idiots. You are an idiot. Where is that police force? Where is it? Go in and call him. He's an idiot. Idiot. Yes. Who is that foolish baboon that is calling my name? Who is that baboon? Eh? Is it me you are calling a baboon? You. Me. You are nothing but an uncircumcised baboon. Yes, that me. is what you are. Okay. I will show you how ruthless and how uncircumcised a baboon can be. If in two days. Two days, you don't pack your things and leave that house. You have nothing to say, our friend. Huh? You just have nothing to say. Huh? Me? Two days? Why not now? You better start now. Show me what you have. Two days, I give you. Two days, Rufus. Margaret, come. You must pack. Come. You must leave. Idiot. Foolish man. Don't worry. I have decided to deal with him. I left him all this while thinking that he would come to his senses. But now it is very obvious that he needs to be taught a lesson. I thank you. I thought everyone have abandoned you. I have not abandoned you. I will see this to the end. Uh, but just send Mimi to come and see me. I know what to do. You must pass. Don't worry, Margaret. I'm a special pass. You must pass. Idiot. Okay. 
Chas and Moses, what are you people doing here dressed like this? Madam, please be calm, okay? Um, we have a plan. Just play along with us. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I should be going. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. I can't remember seeing both of you here before. Maggie, who are they? Okay. I am Barrister Dave, and this is my colleague, Barrister Frank. We are from F and O Chambers. We are Mrs. Margaret's lawyer. Hmm. Maggie. So, what do you want us to do for you? Sir, Mrs. Margaret here lodged a complaint in our chambers that one Mr. Rufus, who happens to be her late husband's brother, has been molesting her and her children and trying to take advantage of them sexually. Maggie? Maggie? Is that true? Okay. Barrister, what do you want to do? Are you Mr. Rufus? Yes, I am Mr. Rufus. We want you to leave this house within the next one week. Eh? Mm. Maggie? Margaret! Is that your plans? Barista A, Barista B. This house is my late brother's house. What if I don't? We are hoping to settle this matter in this house. But nevertheless, we have 10 count charges against you. And the least you can get is 15 years imprisonment if you don't leave this house. And that is even the least you can get. Okay, don't worry. I will call my lawyer. Eh? I have a lawyer. <laughs> I want to go to court. <sighs> Barista. <laughs> Barista Mark. Good day. How are you? Um, Barista. Please come directly to my late brother's house right now there are two barristers before me now they want to sue me to court yes oh thank you so much and so barrister uh mr rufus uh, very good then I, I think we cannot wait mrs margaret here will give us a call as soon as your lawyers arrive uh, we have other clients to see at the estate. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Thank you very much. We have to leave at once. Thank you very much. Margaret. Margaret. Shit! Shit! That man is too smart. <sighs> that man did not even shake. <sighs> so what do we do? The most important thing for us now is to discharge out of this compound eh? before his lawyer comes and sue us for impersonation. Before his lawyer comes and get us. get for you anything no no nothing sir thank you very much sir thank you very much. <laughs> you're a very beautiful girl <laughs> <laughs> thank uh, you sir yes uh, you see i would want to help you chase rufus out of your house but i would want something in return for my effort huh what would that be sir <sighs> Mimi, you know you're very pretty <laughs> very succulent, very juicy. Uh -huh. I would like to sleep with you. What? You know, your uncle is very stubborn. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would be like payment for all my efforts. Can't you just reason with me? Uh, think about it. I'll think about it. Don't cost you anything. 
Eh? Anyway, please sit down. Let me get you something. Eh? Sit down, sit down. Baby, you're looking good. <laughs> How is business? I must say business is doing well. <laughs> at least I'm still one person that does not complain about the economy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah. Oh, wow. That reminds me. Mm. Have you contacted your lawyer? Mm. No, I haven't. Mm. I haven't. I don't know what is wrong with you now. What is wrong with you? If I don't bother, let me call my lawyer. Personal assistant, PA. Chief attorney. Chad and Bell lawyer. You are all in totality. Have I not want you to stop coming to this house? Have I not? Now leave this house. Leave this very minute. Hey, I'm Pepe. I'll Pepe your eye, you. Rufus, don't touch my friend, though. Just. Sleep it. Rufus! I have somebody to Don't worry now. Rufus! You know that I'm talking. Rufus, what do you think that you're doing? Why are you pushing my friend out? If you don't close this your mouth, I will help you close this. Rufus, God will punish you. Cow, what, what, what kind of stupid man is this now? In my own house? Eh? Mimi, you mean that old fool wants you to sleep with him? Mom, I was shocked to hear it. God will really punish them. God will punish him times ten. That fool. I suspected that man. You know they always want something in return. Mommy, this thing is really getting out of hand. We have to provide. Let's commit it to the hands of God. My baby, you are right. We really have to pray because I'm tired of all this nonsense. Let us pray. Gone out. Uh -huh. um, I, 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 I didn't come to stay. Eh? Okay. I, I have come to warn you eh? for you to be careful with Alfred. Rufus has connived with Alfred to harm you, to do you evil. Did you hear me? That's you have lie. to be very, very careful. Eh? That's, lie. That's why I'm here. Thank you. I'm going. Thank you. Be lie. careful. <laughs> All my life, I've never been scared like this before. Do you know I almost pee on myself? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. So what happened when we left? Mm, okay, let me start. His lawyer came to our house and asked our mom to call you guys. So she told them that you guys would contact them. But they never knew that our lawyers from F and D chambers has run away. <laughs> Your uncle is a devil. <clears throat> Baby, do you know that the idiot came to our house and was pretending as if he was helping us to fight? Not knowing that the idiot wants me to sleep with him, with the old fool. Wait, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> what I'm saying is that he told me, he told my mom to tell me to come and see him. And when I got to his house, he was pretending as if he was helping me chase him away. And at the end of the day, he told me he wants to have sex with me. Hey! Ooh, wait, this is no longer a joke. No, Are you serious? I, 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 I see. Tell him to come to your own house when your uncle is not around. Why? Because I just said so. Me, 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 me. <laughs> My dear, are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. And then let's go in and have a good time. <laughs> Do you have a condom? Condom? Yes, I have condom. 
I'm well prepared. <laughs> but I would like us to go to my house so we can, you know, have a good time without anyone disturbing us. <laughs> I don't think that is okay. Let's do it here. Are you sure it's safe? Now you can wear the condom and fuck yourself. Mimi! See, see, but start going now. Because the next time you come here, it's acid or pour, you know what? No! Come here! Come here! Come Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come the next one I'll pour you out to So now you, eh? Now you're the tiny small, small girl, Sabi. Let's go in front, Sabi. I will not say that. Let's go in front. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! My personal person. <laughs> Come, tell me, tell me. Stand up. Eh? <laughs> now tell me, how many rounds do you do? <laughs> how many rounds? You break your waist. Some boys came and flogged me mercilessly today on my way. Some boys? Yes. Flogged you? Yes. What did you do to them? I don't know. I don't know what I did to them. How come some boys will just see you on the road and start flogging you? So the both of you will not let the poor widow and her daughter to rest, eh? Please, please. Eh? I will not do it again. You've come to the end I of the road. Do you will do it again. You will see your children. Ah! 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 Please help me. I don't want them to vlog me again. They have vlogged me enough. Let me put in the house. Let me bring so that you know. I don't want to inherit anything again. I'm, I'm, this is, I want to go. I'm already going. Please help me. I beg them. I don't want them to vlog me. Dad, you have seen your mash. Soldier, come on. Look, I told you before you go, you will still collect more. Eh? I go down. I should go now. Hey! Go now! Rufus! Hey! Hey! And if I'm flogging you, eh? don't cry. Okay. Very good. Oh! Hey! 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 I'm smiling. Hey! 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 Hey!